Oh boy. Why did I witness this again? If you guys really don't know, let me just tell you how this all started. I was really terrified of what I saw. But if you guys want to know this story, I'm going to tell you it. I was at McDonald's. My order was a cheeseburger, some fries, and some Coke. After when I exited McDonald's, I realized there was a box that I didn't realize before I entered. I tell anyone that they dropped this, but no response. I picked it up and took it home. I grabbed a, I grabbed a scissors and sliced it. And, and it was another THX DVD. This one is called THX, Text Treasure Tracker. The cover assisted of Captain Cartoon Cat, Costume Man, and Siren Head looking around worried. Behind them was the THX logo with text next to it. I thought to myself this might be a THX crossover with Captain Cartoon Cat Treasure Tracker. I grabbed the disc out and I put it in my DVD player. It then took me to the menu itself. The menu consisted of the three treasure trackers and text. And, and also, in front of Siren Head, there's also the TXX logo itself. The options were Play, Visit TXX.com, Scene Selection, and Extras. I looked at the extras, and then I clicked on Play to watch it. But there was a warning. This trailer made to contain some blood, gore, violence, and heartbreaking scenes. If you guys are sensitive by these, do not watch it by your own risk. Oh god, I said. Here we go again. The trailer started off with the TXX logo in a dark background. At that moment, Captain Cartoon Cat, Siren Head, and Costume Man walked in. Are you sure this is safe, Captain? Siren Head asked. Siren Head, we'll be okay. We'll only be finding the person that kidnapped a ghost chicken. Once we spot him, I'm gonna pick him up and pound him to the ground. Captain Cartoon Cat said. Captain... I, I don't really know about this because I think there might be a serial killer in this hideout for some reason. Costume Man said scaredly. Captain Carter can't be sure the others to be okay. Calm down, guys. I'm pretty sure this is just a lie. So, let's just forget about a Costume Man and we're just gonna go find Ghost Chicken and... <laughs> Just before Captain Cartoon Cat would finish his sentence, it got interrupted by an evil chuckle. Did you guys hear that? Costume Man said scaredly. Costume Man, you hear what the captain said? Everything's gonna be alright. Saranet told Costume Man, trying to reassure him. They heard the same chuckle again. <laughs> At that moment, text and dropped in, scaring them. Why, hello there, adventurers! Tex said, chuckling again. Captain Cartoon Cat then walks up to Tex to confront him. You, Red Robot, has done such awful things to those people! Murdering them because they were afraid of a certain logo? That's no excuse to kill somebody! Captain Cartoon Cat spoke. And you have no remorse for murdering those innocent people! We are going to notify the authorities and have you executed! Yeah, and also, where's Ghost Chicken? Costume Man asked. Oh, I will show you, Blue Thing. Tex then grabbed a button and clicked on it. They then heard chain noises. And... Oh god. I have saw something that was really terrifying. It was Ghost Chicken, but... He was dead. He got a scratch on his body, his eye was scratched, and his visor was broken. No! Captain Cartoon Cat shouted. Costume Man gasped. <gasps> Ghost Chicken! Saren had cried. Now since I finish with your chicken friend, I'm gonna finish you guys! Tex said. Saren had then runs up to Tex and try to lay a punch on him, but Tex grabbed him by the neck and pushes him to the T. Siren Head then started to choke, while Tex started to speak. Tex then grabbed the chainsaw and starts slicing his head in half, killing Siren Head. Captain Cartoon Cat and Costume Man gasped in horror 
after what he saw. Kossi man, we gotta get out of here, the captain said. Order it, Kossi man said. The two of them began to run, but just then, Tex then grabbed Costume Man. Hey there, Costume. Costume Man was getting scared. Uh, what's this? A machine that had really into the thing out on you? Tex said as he held up the Scream Extractor, which was actually quite an unexpected reference from Monsters, Inc. that, that, that they put in the trailer. Well, what is up? He then clasped the machine over Costume Man's mouth, and he began to let out a muffled scream as his screams were getting extracted. Tex laughed maniacally, watching the blue costume suffer. Captain Crouching Cat watched in horror, watching his friend suffocating. The, the muffled screams went on and on before Costume Man fell onto the floor, out of breath. It then showed the most heartbreaking scene in this trailer. Costume Man was on the floor, motionless, and his face was paled white. Oh no, poor Costume Man, I said whimpering. The Captain Cartoon Cat gasped loudly, seeing his friend's lifeless as corpse. Tex then turned to face Captain Cartoon Cat, facing him. He then pulled out his chainsaw. Captain Cartoon Cat screamed and run away to evade the criminal and escape. Tex was swinging his chainsaw around, laughing like crazy. Captain Cartoon Cat then found the hallway and attempted to go through the door, but Tex shredded it in half. Captain Cartoon Cat ran again to find a place to hide, with Tex shredding everything that got into his way. He then found a wall that he could hide behind. He hid behind it to catch breath, but lowered it so he won't get killed. Oh, kitty kitty, where are you? Tex said in a sing-song voice. Come out, come out, wherever you are. When I find you, I'm gonna make your death slowly and painful. At that moment, Tex appeared right in front of Captain Cartoon Cat. He then let out a short scream once he saw the evil robot right in front of him. Time to have fun with Tex! He said before chuckling evilly. Tex grabbed Captain Carter Cat by the leg and flew him up to the sky. The captain screamed as he was getting kidnapped by a robot before they hovered in the air. Ready to go skydiving with the team man, Captain? Tex teased. No! I demand you to put me down properly this instant! C captain Carter Cat shouted. Tex chuckled and pulled his cartoony grin after what the captain said. Very well then. Your wish has been granted. Tex then ungripped Captain Carter Cat from his leg and he then fell screaming as he plummeted 100 feet. He then hit the ground as the sound of bones breaked was heard. And he also realizes that his light was also broken. Ow! I don't mean that way! Captain Cartoon Cat yelled. Tex dropped down in front of him, holding a chainsaw. I think it's time for you to say goodbye, Captain. Tex said before chuckling sinisterly. Captain Cartoon Cat could not get up as his legs were broken. You know what? You are a monster as in psychopaths! I hope you have fun in hell for your actions! Captain Cartoon Cat shouted in anger. Tex then started up his chainsaw. He then saw Captain Cartoon Cat's arms and legs off. Captain Cartoon Cat let out a realistic, blood curdling scream as he was being mutated and being tortured by a victim. Tex then backed away from Captain Cartoon Cat and he realized that he was completely mutated. His arms and legs were sawed off as blood was leaking from them. Captain Cartoon Cat began to die and bled to death began his eyes turned wide open and his mouth began became a gape and then cut it to black and then showed a shot of the TX Chex logo as then the deep note played but with Captain Cartoon Cat, Siren Head, and Costume Man and Ghost Chicken screams I was I was so scared there Tex and dropped it to the ground Greetings viewers you won't believe what Tex did this time I am murder three 
treasure trackers, and this had a hooky up with a chicken. So remember this, so-called Tribe FM viewers. If you're ever scared of me or my company, I will track you down. Now if you excuse me, I got some busy stuff to do. Goodbye everyone, and have a, and have a nightmare day. Tex then pressed the button on his chest, flew off to the shadows, laughing evilly. And then, it then faded to black. Then the famous TX Tex slogan, the audience is listening, was displayed on the screen for 10 seconds. The DVD then finally came to an end. I got so terrified after watching that terrifying DVD. I told my mom about it and she believed me. We reported the DVD to Craig and TX Chex and the former co company asked for the DVD back so we could send it back to them. I had nightmares thinking about Tex trying to kill me. But guys, there's something I need to say. Please do not get a DVD that is creepy. Cause if you do, you're probably gonna get nightmares like what I did. Please, just stay away from them.